Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team 2 of Level Up is coming tomorrow, and we've got this loading screen telling us about a player that's going to be inside of it already, but who else is going to be a part of this second week of this Level Up promo where we'll be upgrading more cards through objective gameplay once again. We're going to talk about that today and some ideas I have around what maybe teams and clubs that weren't introduced in Team 1 that we could see in Team Number 2. And of course, today's a really interesting day for this FIFA 23 game and looking forward into EAFC 24. A big uh, SBC is returning today and we're gonna have some big news today all across social media. We're gonna talk about that in the video today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, as we always do, let's roll back to yesterday and talk about the content because yesterday was kind of a crazy day on a Wednesday. Three big SBCs were dropped. You can see two of them right here. First of all, the transfer SBC leak that we saw actually came out like right away. That's insane. And it's an insane W from EA. Alexis McAllister, five star, four star, 90 pace. Basically what we said in yesterday's video, we needed five star skills and we needed 90 pace. They both happened. So a nice card here. And what's even better about it is I mean, it's the transfer card and it's a good price as well, but this just enables people on this game to have fun trying out players that maybe play for their favorite club or they're excited for a player's transfer and it gives us time to use the card because it's not August when usually uh, the time is when we see these cards coming out into the game. 230,000 coins for this Alexis McAllister, really, really W card. The biggest problem and kind of the biggest disappointment with it is going to be that there's probably not going to be a dynamic image. You're just going to see him smiling. You know, and, and no dynamic image there. That'd be so nice if they could update it with him, you know, showing Liverpool kit. But like in the trailer, they have him in there. So unfortunately, we don't see that. But still, that's a WSBC. And we just hope that there are more of those to come. I'm sure EA will start to sprinkle those in as we get closer and closer towards, you know, footies and like the preseason end game promo. The fact that we already have one, though, is a W step in the right direction. And there were some Liverpool cards that moved. Keep an eye on some of your Liverpool cards on the market, like Mohamed Salah. Uh, Andrew Robertson were a few of the cards that moved a good amount of price yesterday. And with that loading screen, Darwin Nunez, they could potentially move a bit more. So I would keep an eye on some of your Liverpool special cards right now in this moment on the market as well. Now, we had another big player SBC yesterday that was Patrick Vieira, Trophy Titans. Man, we are getting all the player species now that we have needed with this great upgrade pack and all this fodder that we're getting on this menu grind right now. Patrick Vieira, Trophy Titans, the best version available for him in the game. A lot of people, I think, are disappointed with this SBC. Um, and for me, it's kind of like... Okay, I see a little bit of disappointment. I think there's really one reason why people are disappointed because this is the best Vieira card in the game. So many people love using Vieira every single year in FIFA. He's always overpowered. The stats, they look a little mid, right? That's, I think, people's biggest problem is this card is just a little bit too late. The timing, right? It should have come out a month ago or a few weeks ago or, or something along those lines. Guys, this card for me, it's Vieira. He's always overpowered. This is kind of an emotional player that if you want to get this SBC, done because you you're um, a fan of Vieira in game or you're a fan of his in real life then get the SBC done right it's not a bad price in my opinion it's actually a really good price and I can't believe that it's so downvoted on footman I think it's just because it's more expensive than Vondra Milinkovic Savage and a lot of the other cards that have graced this game as midfielders like Acuna uh, recently and even Alexis McAllister they're like two three hundred k for really cracked out stats you compare Vieira's stats to those guys, yeah, he doesn't match up as good, but it's Vieira. He's got the unique animations, the unique body type. He is always overpowered. And guys, without a leak and without panic selling and knowing that this SBC was coming, Vieira was still 1.6, 1.7 million coins on the market. He dropped all the way down to 1.2 mil where he currently is right now, 1.2 to 1.3. That's why I think this SBC is okay value because... It's actually priced at around 1.3 million coins. It went up. Fodder went up a lot yesterday. So the price of this started at about 1.27 and went up about 100K. I just think that's a, a solid SBC. And it's also very easy to craft. Um, it's technically only nine squads, right? Because the first three are, you know, your loan and then your bronze and silver. So there is a 92 rated squad inside of it. But you get a lot of fodder right now with all these level up cards. Once you finish off um, the, the lower level version, you got that card in your club especially if you packed it untradeable those are great cards you can put into this and craft it so i think there's too much uh, of a negative opinion around that viera but if you don't want to do it that's fine i just think that ea did a nice one with that sbc and then also as kind of expected or hoped i guess you could say the 93 plus shapeshifter or tots pack was re-released yesterday 
back into this game and we actually saw some really good player picks it seemed like the weight was a bit more consistent with this and they also made it just the shade cheaper right instead of an 88 squad they made it an 87 fodder though as we mentioned already is on the rise on that middle to top tier like with all those SBCs that were dropped yesterday fodder just kind of took off right you take a look at 85s they're about 15 to 16 16,000 coins a piece these were about 13k yesterday they were even at 17,000 coins in the peak of the content hype and your tots cards as well we mentioned that in yesterday's video that they could be moving and and they did right they went from about 21 22k a lot of these guys it says they're still about 24 25,000 coins they definitely the 91s at least went up a good bit the 93s are rising a little bit so it's, but it's the golds guys the golds are what i want you guys to focus on i think if we look at like gold Lewandowski as a 91 rated card he's way more expensive than all the other 91 rated um he went yesterday from 29,000 coins all to all the way to 38k because again when it comes to fodder all these other 91s that are tots cards are 24,000 coins nobody thinks about those nobody puts those in the SBC solutions and views that as fodder right they view a gold card as fodder that's why in this end stage of the game we invest in the gold cards still because they end up going up a lot more especially on the higher ratings because that's what people think of when it comes to fodder so this Lewandowski being 32k is still a lot more expensive than all the rest of the 91s that are on this game but that's where you saw the fodder market go up the most yesterday because of all of that demand and people going out and doing SBCs. now i would go to the store but i had to quick sell recover a goalkeeper shapeshifter kyle walker um but there was a new store pack yesterday that in my opinion we got to talk about these for a quick second i know i can't show you guys it because i don't have it in the store right now but it's that 200k um the replay whatever pack man those packs in the store that give out like three tots cards the 405k 500k elite pack the replay ones guys i really don't think they're worth it at all but the 200k one to me since you get gold cards back in it is more worth it than the 400 and 500k but man those are just some really big risky packs opening to open up at this stage of the game especially when they're giving out promo cards from it that are not even the, from the most recent promo but that was out and people were opening that in the story we opened a few on stream they were fun right it's fun that's how those packs are fun but are they really worth it not that much so that was kind of yesterday and there was a lot going on again as we mentioned that was a surprise day of content hopefully today kind of makes it a bit of a surprise day as well but one thing we're looking out for a part of content today let's turn the conversation into looking ahead into today is level up number two now we know we're getting a second team to this promo it's been you know known since the beginning level up team one every time we see team one branding there's always going to be a team two and of course we've got this loading screen right now with darwin Nunez and I mean W player selection here from EA I think this is a great opportunity to get an end game Darwin Nunez but the problem is and you're seeing it in the comments here on the side on Twitter and on the card what we noticed right away about this Darwin Nunez is the dribbling upgrade is actually pretty small from his foot birthday card both the left wing uh and well I guess they're both left wing but the five star skill and the five star skill move or weak foot version 86 dribbling on that card the card on the loading screen, the, the lower tier one, is an 88, so a plus two, and then a plus two on top of that. 90 dribbling for Darwin Nunez at this later state of the game. I mean, I think I was hoping hoping to see like a, a 92 or a 93. That's only a plus four from a foot birthday promo card where a lot of cards right now have way higher above 90 dribbling. Now, I know it's Nunez, and I know it's his own card, and it's different, but that's not, a, in my opinion, a super great start to this promo but remember who we had on this loading the screen last week right we had enzo fernandez and enzo fernandez was probably what the third or fourth most hyper expensive player behind kdb alfonso davies renato sanchez and you could argue that timo Werner, uh who was more expensive than him uh would be a little more hyped than him you know so i don't imagine that this darwin nunez is the best card coming in this next promo team and i'm excited today to maybe learn of who else might be in level up team two because guys if you take a look at this team one once again with a whole new set of players that is going to be released today yes we've got Bayern yes we've got City yes we've got two Chelsea cards and we've got PSG and Juventus all kind of represented through this promo team guys there's a lot of big players that could be or a lot of big clubs first of all that probably will be represented with this upcoming promo you think about Real Madrid Barcelona 
Arsenal, Spurs. I would have to imagine, well, Liverpool on the loading screen, they didn't have one last week. I would have to imagine that all of those clubs, most of them, if not all of them, are going to be represented in some way, shape, or form by a player um, in this level up promo because that's what EA know they can do to garner some hype, right? Like, I just thought of this right now. Ferlin Mendy would be an absolutely phenomenal card. Can you imagine Ferlin Mendy? That would be like a Renato level type of card if he was in the level up promo. That'd be fantastic, right? Dortmund, you think of a guy maybe like Royce. Um, you know, I know he had the Tots SBC, but you could do that. Manchester United, you know, there's probably going to be a United player inside of this objective level up promo as well. AC Milan, I mean, EA, don't even dare give us a level up Zlatan that we have to go play games for. Just still, we're hoping for the end of an era Zlatan. I don't know how that's going to work out. But, you know, there's a lot of potential for this level up team too. And again, I'm a little bit, we're going to talk about level one, uh, level up team one prices um, in a bit because if level you up team two comes out, I really think that could put a bit of a strain on level one. I keep saying level one and level two. Level up one, team one, because if there's new players that come out, people might be like, okay, uh, I got to finish off the grind that I was doing and switch to the new one. That worries me a little bit with some of the team one cards, but as well, like we've been talking about wanting to combine the objectives and get some of them done at the same time between team one and team two so today i think we're gonna get leaks i think we're gonna get a loading screen uh guys the leaks have been coming in really really late so i really hope today that we get some that we get some leaks i mean i'm not all about the leaks um but you know i just think it has to be coming out today where we get some of that news and information because it would just make sense so now let's talk a little bit more about this team one and thursday content today i'll start with the thursday content right it's a, it might be a big day on thursday today as well because specifically one sbc is refreshing and that is the icon player pick. And you're like, nah, man, Nate, this icon player pick is an L. And you are correct in that sentiment. But it's an icon player pick. And people like icon gambles in this stage of the game, any stage of the game. It is refreshing today. That's the countdown timer refresh. It doesn't show here on game. But if you go look on the web app, it says it's going to refresh today. That is, once again, 86, 87, and 88 rated squads with a team of the season or team of the season moments required. This didn't move fodder a crazy amount on the weekend. Will it move fodder a crazy amount today? Probably not. So if you're somebody that has fodder still, I think you could take the opportunity between like early hours today on Thursday, maybe uh, later in the day after content fodder goes up a little bit more. The only thing that could not move fodder or cause a bit of supply to make fodder prices go down today would be, if you think about it this week, it's been an objective-based promo, right? A lot of people have been playing division rivals in co-op division rivals in solo mode just so that they can get rewards work out these games work out these objective requirements i think there's going to be a decent amount of rivals rewards today and of course you have marquee matchups so fodder is a very interesting place to think about right now in this market with prices up from where they were Honestly, price is good enough for me to sell some of these cards right now because we're going to have, yes, some SBCs coming back today. But honestly, you know, these TOTS cards, they're getting supplied every single day. The gold cards are up a ton, like we looked at Lewandowski. they up a ton from where they have been. Lewandowski has been between 22K and like 28K for this whole past week. I mean, 25K even. And now he's up to about 32. He was like 30. What did we see earlier? He was 35 or 30, 38,000 coins. Like uh, to me, if he goes back up a little bit more today, I would take the cash and sell the card because we're going to have more packs open this weekend. We're going to have, you know, as we always see on the weekends, we see the fodder drop on like Friday specifically. So I think that's going to happen again this week. So that might be a decent opportunity to get out on some of these cards if you want to. Uh, this is usually the time of the week where fodder starts to dip down a little bit in price. The 90 plus um, refreshing today does kind of put a little bit of a different spin on things but that is an icon pick that i think a lot of people will end up crafting in the days after today not necessarily just today on this game now let's talk about team one cards and prices because i know you guys as well as me are very interested in a lot of these prices and wow we actually had some drop-offs man timo Werner, um in the past like four or five hours after um me getting off stream all of a sudden, Timo Werner has gone from like 570k. He was already dropping when we ended the stream, just a little bit, right? Um, he was like 640k for Monday, Tuesday, and now Timo Werner all of a sudden just dropped down under 500,000 coins. I actually picked up two at 485 and 486 because in my mind, I'm like, okay, 
That is such a massive drop off in a short amount of time. This is reminding me of the weekend, right? Remember on Saturday and on Sunday when these cards just absolutely got destroyed, then they would rebound back up as people would go out and do the objectives. I'm kind of getting the same vibes here. Alfonso Davies is about to go under 800K for the first time since the weekend, you know, and he's 800 and what is he? 20,000 coins right now and still dropping. Um, you know, I think people are a little worried about Thursday today with the prices dropping with supply and I totally get that. And at the same time, you got people that are completing these objectives, which is kind of what we expected, right? We talked about it earlier in the week, hoping to see a drop on a day like today and a Thursday. And guys, it looks like it's kind of happening now with rivals rewards today and squad and uh, not squad battles, but the uh, marquee matchups SBC most likely coming back. That's tradable supply. It's going to hit the market. So yes, I'm still a little bit leery of these cards, especially if we start getting really good leaks for team number two. That could just maybe move some of these cards downward in price as well as people try to get the games done so that they can focus on next week's content and maybe get excited for the upcoming cards. But at the same time, these guys are about to go out of packs. And I think that means a lot of people, like we've been waiting all week to buy them at the right or their lowest price. And I mean, guys, I think they are getting to a low price that looks pretty good for me. Again, this is new uncharted territory for all of these cards. We don't know. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get Renato, right? Renato is about 6.5 mil. He's actually down. Um... 6.49 at the moment and still getting a little bit listed there's definitely more supply on the market now for all these level up cards than there has been during the whole entire week because they just can keep continually get packed right they're in packs so um you know i could see them going down a little bit more but i think between today on thursday and tomorrow on friday morning you're going to see low points for these cards that could be viable to go and complete objectives to go complete some games and to get those upgraded cards in motion for you so just be careful monitoring those cards but i picked up a couple of timo verners as we're still on the renato grind right i haven't listed uh, or i haven't cleared any of the cards from what we've sold and been trading with and guys yesterday was another really good trading day i've got literally all my coins right now invested in some quick flips i got a viera for 1.19 um in the big panic selling i missed out on selling them at 1.35 because I wasn't paying attention, to be completely honest. I've got a lot of other special cards that I'm flipping. And then the team overners I just mentioned, 485, I think 46. Yeah, 46 is what I paid for them both. So hoping that he goes back up a little bit today. Uh, just like on the weekend, we saw these level up cards drop. And then we saw them rebound a little bit. So we'll watch out for potentially that happening today as people see the low price and say, hey, I can afford this card now. It's a lot better price than what it was. I'm going to go out and try to get that objective done. So we're going to be closely watching those today. And of course... Today, we have to talk about all of the massive news. Today's a big day. Looking forward for EAFC. Today is the day, guys. I'll actually pull up the, the YouTube link right here. This is the live stream. It's going to be coming out um, 30 minutes before content drop today. And if you want to check this out, I will be watching it live on stream. Link down below in the description. We'll be watching it together, reacting to it together, and learning about FC24, the reveal live stream i don't know how long it's going to be um it's going to be live from the fc clubhouse in amsterdam i think there's going to be uh some other streamers there there's going to be a lot of really cool things so it's not just like a trailer it's actually a live stream so i'm very excited to see what that looks like and all of the information and news uh, that we will be learning from that event today and then of course really quickly i want to scroll through some of leaks um, some leaks that we got yesterday about new icons and heroes, and, and maybe this is going to be revealed by EA today. But Foot Sheriff yesterday tweeting out Frank Ribery as an icon, Rositsky as a hero, and then Litmanen being downgraded from an icon to a hero. But if you actually think about it, it's kind of like an upgrade in terms of how chemistry works in this game. So that's that. Vincent Company is coming as a hero. Great to have Vincent Company back in FIFA. Remember using him, some of his other, like a legendary flashback card was like FIFA 19 or something like that. He had a nice card back then. And then Bobby Charlton is coming as an icon in EAFC as well. So those are all the leaks that we have right now for EAFC. We'll see if that is changed today. We'll see if we learn any more names. But I'm really excited for all that news and information that we're going to be getting today. Should be a good day. So make sure you check that link down below in the description to the Twitch live stream. We'll be talking about it today on the youtube video or on the stream and uh yeah guys thanks for watching the video today if you did enjoy it drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new we'll see you guys in the stream today it's been nathan with account and catch you guys there peace